me Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for you Living out there, how y'all doing this morning? It be Monday when you get it. Happy Monday! I hope everybody's had a blessed weekend, and uh, it's time for everybody to get it. How you live? And my basketball wives is gonna come on uh, Sunday night this week, and not uh, Monday. I said that's good because you got love and hip hop Hollywood. I got my girls. The Queen Supreme Court, hey, it's the Queen Supreme Court. I got the gag order, I don't know where she be at and what she doing. That damn Kaya's over there acting a damn fool. But uh, that girl know she can gag. <laughs> Them gags is keeping her offline. She gonna have to learn my money or my mouth. And uh, I know she got a little taste of this money, so she gonna have to relax on cussing everybody out. Yeah, with my notes. Where my notes, where my notes, okay? And uh, thank you, Jean, for my present. I went live yesterday to show my gift. I appreciate it. I said, girl, that's me. Jean Stewart, thank you, boo. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you long time. And I know in them days off, honey, when you want to relax, you ain't got time. Girl, because uh, I take a day. If I don't have to go anywhere, the doctor, the nails, the lashes. And if I get a Friday to myself, honey, I'd be up under my bed. I'd be like, please don't bother me. I try to uh, pre-record and then I release it, you know, that next day. So, gotta give me one day while I'm off. And yesterday I said I hadn't been live in almost a couple of weeks. Let me go live. And, uh, cause it's nice to bond with the crew. Thank you guys for sliding through. I appreciate hanging out with everybody. Hello, welcome, my new tiki's, my old tiki's, my uh, true tiki's, and everybody else. Welcome to Tiki 44. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like, subscribe, follow me over there on IG, Tiki 44. And I'm trying to learn how to Snapchat. <laughs> my son, he got to work the Chris Brown concert last night. He was right there in front of the stage all night. He said, "Oh my God, Mama." I said, sometimes life uh, send you things and you don't know why. I said, just take them, son, and then do them. Sometimes you see people got things and you feel like they doing better than you or God bless them a little bit more. Don't ever look at somebody else's blessings and say, I wanted to do that. Embrace their blessings and say, thank you for what I have. And whatever the, your will is in my life, let it be done. So whatever you got for me, whatever you have for me is for me. And can't nobody take that. I tell it to people every day, all day. I don't want extra. I don't want to do this. I'm not trying to have that. I will not cheat you. I don't mind sharing because I know where my blessings come from, okay? Our president, happy, happy forever president, birthday, Obama. A beautiful, handsome, beautiful, handsome, handsome Obama turned 57 years old. And uh, what was that, August the, today the 5th. So his birthday was August the 4th. So happy birthday, President Forever Obama. And he looks so good. You guys, I never knew our president was that young. 57? I'm like, normally they 60 and above. She look at Trump. He don't know whether to go get his AARP or to uh, try to go file for his disability, <laughs> which I know he don't need it. He done, he done stole all the churches, mighty, okay? But uh, I just want to say good morning. We got an overcast this morning, but it's not as bad as that humidity. I said, Lord... I, I'm, I'm so thankful when I could just get up and move around. I might need a little kick, but uh, I'm still doing my CBD oil. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to give up. When it was making me really, really, really sleepy, I just had the dosage and keep it moving, okay? So y'all know I'm, I'm babbling because I ain't got nothing to talk about, right? Only thing I seen was fabulous. I guess he's getting ready to go to court for uh, whooping that girl ass, Emily. And uh, she caught him again cheating. 
and then I see her walking showing an engagement ring so I guess she's gonna marry him so she do not have to testify against him hey if you like it I love it anybody who knocked my whole fucking front teeth out my mouth honey I might not prosecute you but I would be through with you I'm not gonna marry you to keep your ass out of jail I would have walked away and whatever happened to you happened to you because there's nothing in life that harsh where you should knock somebody teeth out their mouth and uh, they say Tokyo Tony was on that crime last night you guys and uh, a lot of people when I was doing my live she has mental health issues and I said Lord you know pray for her as we say for us rocks we gonna lift our hands out of prayers to Tokyo Tony and Black China you know I would never tell you never to work out something with your mom that's one thing I never would do call your mama baby call mama bring her down here where you at I know she may get on your nerves put her in a one bedroom somewhere studio and help her get on her feet that's your mama no matter what no matter what that is your mom and she wrong for doing what she do but she got to pay for that I, we have no heaven, no hell to put this young lady in, okay? So, talk, I mean, uh, Black China, as Kaya say, call your mama. <laughs> Y'all, one thing about the queen, the queen's court, it was a legendary next case, next caller. Uh, there's a hate on the line. And let me block this bitch one more time. There's some things that we picked up from the queen court the queen's court that we will never let go okay and one thing about a blogger blog or whatever you want to call us we might not be setting 10 or 20 years somewhere honey <clears throat> but never take away from what somebody do and that's from the higher people the lower people the people with the highest subscribers the people with the less no matter how many subscribers you got, how many views you got, if somebody is dedicated to putting it all into something, you never take away from them what they're doing. So, sometimes, you know, and if you see somebody on their channel that's doing things you don't like, just go, slide on. You don't go argue with somebody. You guys, we don't go put negative comments. We don't go tap down to people. This is etiquette. PSA, <clears throat> etiquette for you too. If you don't like somebody just go there are millions and millions and millions of youtubers on there that you can watch that may be what you like so when my numbers up my numbers are down when my views are up when my views are down I take it like okay God is sitting in my next bunch you know and I'll see people hate Miss Tiki hey extraneous hey this hey Tina hey hey Jean I have my people and then I have my ones that have come through Bone Jones and people that's been dealing with me for a long time slide through and say hey boo my James uh, Sean I have people I've been dealing with for a long time and then I have the ones that it, it, it's a rotation you guys that's one thing about um, my girl Nate Rob she said the same people you meet going up I like that tagline. It's the same people you will meet coming down. I like that. That that is so true. So be careful, you guys. We gotta humble ourselves. And there's a lot of YouTubers, bigger YouTubers. I hear them talking about the Ace family. Uh, this little girl. I mean, this couple, Donald and Chrissy. You know, millions and millions, ten millions, five millions, four million, three millions. Chris and Queen that all broke up when they took this money. And they made so much money from it. And they were just miserable with each other just to keep the money coming. And I always oh, will never do it for money. Yes, you would. Hell, I would. If I was bringing in a check for $20,000 a month, oh, hell, you go on one side of the room you, and I'm going to go on the other. When we cut this damn camera on, your ass better smile. So many people have done it. I'm like, this is where the money is. They like to see families, see YouTube couples, especially when you're vlogging. People like that. And I said, I'm watching and I'm learning. And I'm, but I said, you know what? 
maybe that's for them but that's not for me when it's my time to shine like that it i might put it on there when i may not because some things is best left unsaid okay <laughs> I said, y'all, that's why I ain't now trying to mess with this one, that one, and the other one. Because you're going to come on here trying to blast me. When I'm ready to date, I'll date. And hopefully he got his shit together. I mean, you've seen this one, that one, and the other one. But really nothing serious. But uh, when I'm really ready to bring somebody forth, he better have his shit together. Because the first person that comes to me and tell me his ass fucking up, boop, see you later, bye. And that's just me in real life. I just don't have time for the bullshit. My nerves bad. Shit. Why would I want to raise a man? I just continue to help my children. <laughs> SK Michelle said you can't raise a man. That's very, 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 very true. You can't raise no man, okay? They gonna do what they want to, and women too. You guys, is Portia Williams pregnant? I don't think so. Portia probably just gotta look good in front of her. Probably need to go get a good shit. Like Beyonce and she'll be okay and uh that'll be the next case next case next caller they say cardi b i seen her meeting with chris jenner i said this bitch better become a for real mogul because she um nine times out of ten she hiring chris jenner and uh they look like they getting ready to make it do what it do her and kim meet i say okay boo do you that's one thing about chris that is mona scott and uh, Cardi be buying all these cars. Boo learn how to drive. Offset riding around with guns and shit. And uh, I say it's just some people. You could take them from the hood. But the hood just sits in their lap. And they just can't get it out. Like Offset you got all this money. Every time you look up you and this group. Your, your group the Migos. They fighting. They doing this. They doing that. Um, getting stopped. Having a car accident where you totaled out the whole damn car. You left that scene because nine times out of ten, your ass was under the influence of something, you know. And then you want to bring somebody forward and tell them, I'm going to give you a car because you saved my life. You know, you, you had to do it because nine times out of ten, them police was going to get on your ass. So not even, not even a couple months later, your ass get in trouble again. And they want to say driving while black. You couldn't maintain a lane. They said you had marijuana in the car. I don't know if it was in your system. I'm not the popos. I don't make the news. I just reported. But three guns in the car. You say you had a bodyguard. Okay, you need one. You guys are. I mean, they have a. They they are now. They are famous. Okay, <laughs> they are famous. And uh, I must say, this young lady, uh, Chris and Queen, this Queen Nigia that has came from YouTube and can sing and has sung, I mean, has signed to Atlantic Records. I just want to say congratulations. This baby is doing her thing. A man don't want you cheating on you. She left his ass and God ain't did nothing but blessed her. Sometimes we be sitting back holding on to things because, oh God, my mama told me to stay. My daddy told me to stay married. Uh-uh, no. Uh-uh. You can't live your life for other people. You gotta live your life for yourself. And I'm finna get off of here, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Follow me over there on Instagram. Tiki44. Snapchat. I'm trying to learn how to snap, y'all. I'm just snapping. I don't know nothing about it. But uh, Snapchat, Tiki44. And everybody, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for sliding through, guys. Big Pamper.